thanks for joining me for another video from Goldtine Hunting Productions. Today I'm going to do a review on the tree suit, which is a platform made by Tree Hopper. Um, there are some definite things that I like about it, um, maybe a couple negatives as well, but honestly, this is more of a first impression because I haven't used it. Uh, I, got, I had a ridge runner that I from out on a limb that I used uh, last year. I gave that away, which you saw if you've watched any of my videos. I gave that away to a, a, a fortunate winner. And I've decided to try the tree suit. So, uh, it's not going to be an unboxing, unfortunately. I, I pulled it out of the box to show my friends the uh, buckle system uh, because he has one and uh, the buckle system to the tree and how it straps to the tree is different than his. And so uh, I wanted to show him, but today is going to be an unbackpacking and uh, we'll get it up on the tree and, and we'll go through it and show you what it's like. I do want to say there are other reviews out there on the tree suit and I would encourage you to go look at them. One is Matt from Mad Hunts Adventures. He's got several great reviews on saddle hunting and all sorts of different uh, saddles and platforms. Uh, I know he's got a, another saddle video that's either just come out or about ready to come out on a bunch of different saddles. So I would go over to his channel and uh, take a look at that. It's uh, again, Matt from Mad Hunts Adventures. He's got some really good uh, hunting info there and I think it'll be helpful. And again, this is one of the uh, reviews that he does. It's definitely better to get multiple opinions on it but um let's take a look and see what we got all right here it is. This is called the tree suit. Again, it's by Tree Hopper. And uh, it sits on the tree like that. And uh, obviously the strap around there will go on there. The first thing I'll say, you know, it's hard to, I haven't had a bunch of different platforms, but I have, again, used the Ridge Runner. This one here is 14 inches wide. So the Ridge Runner was 16 inches wide. And what I would say about the Ridge Runner was it had more foot space um, based on how the shape was. So yes, this is 14 inches wide, which is pretty good, but it's not, there's not a full 14 inches front to back. As far as front to back, so from here to the front of this point, it's 10 and a half inches. So 14 side to side, which isn't terrible, 10 and a half inches front to back, which, which isn't terrible as well. I would assume that would probably change some based on the size of the tree. If you have a bigger tree, it's gonna kind of span this gap here and you'll have a little bit more space whereas a smaller tree it's going to sit in a little bit more and you'll probably have a little bit less space um, than that but i will say this about this this thing is ridiculously light it's a i think a pound and 10 ounces is what they have on their website so one pound 10 ounces the ridge runner that i had before just in comparison was i think 56 ounces ounces which is three pounds eight ounces if my math is correct so this is way lighter um, it has these little legs here which are what attach to the tree. It's going to go around the tree like that. And so um, they, they don't fold. They're stuck like that. But I've had it in my backpack and honestly I don't think it's that big of a deal. The fact that you can't fold them over or anything like that. Um, being the fact that it's a little smaller and light, it, it fits in there pretty well. The other thing which I really like about it is the buckle system. I don't know if you can see right here. But it actually has a cam buckle, which I'll show you in a second how it works. And then it has this guy here. And you'll notice right there, the cam buckle goes in there and that pops up. Once that pops up, the, the buckle cannot come out, which is obviously makes it more safe. So that I think is a real plus for it. I'll just show you real quick actually. Here's the uh, buckle piece and it's going to go in there. You're going to grab it like that and you're going to put it like that. And then it goes inside. There you go, and it can't come out. Obviously in the morning when you're trying to be quiet, you're not gonna just wanna put it in like that. It's gonna make a lot of noise. You're gonna wanna do it you know, fairly soft. And again, I, I've, this is basically my first time even touching it. So um, I'll have to do a little bit of a, figure that out myself, but um, it's not that big of a deal. Actually right there it was pretty quiet. So anyway, it has that cam buckle system. The other thing is, you know, you've got this strap and the, what you don't want is you don't want the strap falling off as you're trying to wrap it around the tree or 
or slide it around and you know and it just come off here is the system that they have you can see that right there basically what they do is they have this uh, Allen wrenched in here and they have it again over on this side but basically that is tight and I'm, you can loosen it and adjust this and make this part of the strap longer if you wanted I don't personally see that you would want to do that but I guess you could if you wanted but um they have it so they tighten it so it doesn't slip through or slip around once you fasten that that is good to go so here's the system again that's the, the um, face of the platform if you can see that that's the face of the platform it's uh, powder coated it's kind of got it's gritty so to help give you some um, you know traction so you don't slip and um, it feels definitely solid on top so let's get it on the tree and see what uh see what it does i will say this as i was thinking about this um on the ridge runner and i know the uh, predator platforms by tethered they have some adjusting adjusting screws or bolts that you can adjust it depending on the tree whether the tree you know is slanted one way or the other um the predator actually i think more so than even the ridge runner um but this one does not have that, so um, you're going to have to take that account when picking a tree. This does not have a adjustable uh, level leveler to make it one way. Whatever your tree is, that's the way it's going to be. So I would say honestly that that's a bit of a negative, but for the price, um, you know, you can't have it all. This I believe ran $119, and if they give you a deal if you buy, you know, multiple ones. But this one, if you just buy one, I believe it was $119 plus shipping. The Ridge Runner, I believe when I bought it was $149 maybe plus shipping. And I know the tethered uh, Predators and you know now all the new ones, the, uh, the Cruiser platform, the Seeker, I believe it's called. Um, those are in the like 170 range plus shipping. So this doesn't have necessarily all the bells and whistles per se as those, but for the price, I think it's actually a pretty good uh, option and again it's for saddle hunters I know light is a huge ordeal on the hunting forums people are always talking about how light you want you want your stuff to be to go into one sticking because they're trying to get light this here is super light I mean it's, again one pound ten ounces you're not going to beat that I don't think for a platform um, so for saddle hunting when you're trying to carry light you're go walking long distances this is a good option so Let's get it on the tree and see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on this side first, That even though I'm gonna get up when it's on this side, but I just wanna show you the cam system and how that works. And I'll explain this in a second. Uh, one of the things I like about this cam system based on my experience with the Ridge Runner. Um, but anyway, so you're gonna wrap it around the tree like that. Again, I'm not trying to be super quiet. Um, that's for hunting season. You're gonna slip in that cam there. Now I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull it tight like that. Get it tight. Once it's tight, then you take this guy. You got to cam it over like that. Just like that. Now we'll get up there and we'll we'll see how it uh, how it works. I'll say this: that is dead tight. But of course, being on a stick um, and camming that over like that, a climbing stick, I mean, and camming it over like that might be a little difficult. So, that's how it's done. All right, let's get up here. Usually my feather is going to be higher. There. All right. As you can see, um, I'm on here. Honestly, there feels like plenty of room uh, to me for my boots. These are um, ones I'll be wearing most of the time, maybe when it's really cold. I'll be wearing my Arctic boots, but for most of the bow season, I'll be wearing these because um, these will be plenty fine. But um, 
as you can see, it's it's holding pretty solid. Pretty solid. Now, I know um, again, Ridge Runner. Some of those they have these easy side pressure. Um, see here, and you can see that's pretty. That's pretty tight. It's not going anywhere. Of course, the teeth on the back are pretty. Uh, they're pretty good, and they're really digging in. Again, if you get that strap tight, um, it'll dig in really well to the tree. But come over to this side. You can see. Um, that's great. I mean, that's really good. And honestly, there, there's there's plenty of room on here. I, I guess I was because I had the ridge runner that was 16 inches. I guess I expected this to be a little bit more, just to feel a little more compact, and of course it is, but it doesn't really feel like that. Um, I guess one of the nice things is, because of the way it's turned in the front, you know, you can lean to this side on this uh, corner if you wanted to come over here, which my tree's kind of leaning this way a little bit, so it's causing me to go that way, but, you know, if you're straight, you want to be on this side a little bit. Um, that's great. One of the issues that I had with the Ridge Runner was on trees where the bark is pretty thick, and this isn't that bad, but you know, you get one where the bark is thicker. It had a regular strap that you just pull tight with your hands, and what was happening was you pull it tight with your hands while the, the Ridge Runner teeth were kind of moving a little bit and digging in. Well, then it kind of loosened the strap a little bit. The thing I like about this one is as you tighten it down with that cam, um, cam over strap it actually kind of digs in already to the tree and makes it tight the thing that you have to worry about and, and this is a minus for this with that cam over system if you're not careful the part of the cam over it'll dig into this the piece of strap if you're not watching to make sure that that's in between the actual cam um, i actually did that on there i don't think it's a big deal except because i caught it but if i would have left it like that it would have tore a hole into the strap I would have had to probably replace the strap. So that is something that you're going to have to um, watch. But as I'm standing on this, and again, it's, it's very tight, um, I'm saying that uh, it's, it's, it's really nice. I could see myself being comfortable on this, you know, quite a while. Now here's one thing that um, I would say is a negative as well. On the other platforms, sometimes, you know, you could stand up sideways like this now you can see i'm doing it i'm standing up sideways but i'm really tight to the tree there's basically no there's no play now if i had to you know if i had to turn and shoot i could do it again it, as long as it's flat or or the angle is right i can turn and shoot you know this way if i needed to which is my weak side so you can turn and shoot on your weak side if you have to I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's not that bad. There's a little less room, I think. You know, there's a little less room than, um, say, the Ridge Runner and probably some of these other platforms. But I but you can do that. Um, if I needed to stand up here, you know. And last year, actually, the doe I shot last year was on my weak side. And um, I'm trying to think of how I, how I did that. I think I turned this way. I'm pretty sure I turned this way. And shot her. Yeah. I mean, I can. I can shoot all the way around. You know that way. Obviously, anything behind me, I can shoot. And um, I can also shoot. I can also shoot this way. So I mean, I have. I do have 360 degree turn on it. But again, you just have to be. You, you probably have to be a little. Just a little slower maybe in some of those turns because of the size of it but you're also not paying 180 dollars plus shipping or 170 dollars plus shipping this was a hundred this was fifty dollars cheaper um, plus shipping and it was probably cheaper shipping because of how light it was so what i would say is as far as strengths it's very light it cams real tight to the tree um, there is i would say i wouldn't say this is a strength per se but it's not a negative either they're feels like plenty of foot room and again you can move your feet around the side and, and put pressure on it and it doesn't move so that's a good thing 
Um, and uh, it's easy to carry. The negatives, I would say, is again, that strap, when you can buckle it over, when you can buckle the strap over, you have to be careful that you don't sh dig into the strap. Um, so you just have to be careful of that. But in the morning, obviously, that's gonna be something that I have to be a little more careful of. So that's kind of a negative. Um, the other negative I would say is that it doesn't um, have a leveling system at all. Uh, you know, so you are, you're gonna have to be a little more selective in the trees that you choose or just be very uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> depending on how you put the, uh, how you put the platform on the tree. So overall, I think it's a good platform. I would probably rate it, you know, seven, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, which is pretty good it's not phenomenal but i would say it's pretty good now again maybe i'll do a another review when i come back to um after using it for a year but as of right now with the limited experience i have uh, using this and it being my first time honestly getting up on it and really you know messing around with it i would say probably seven or seven point five but um i'm not disappointed and uh who knows maybe at the end of the season i'll end up giving this one away too but I really like the cam system, the buckle system. I think that's a great, I think that's a great uh, way to make sure that it gets real tight to the tree. And that's huge for, you know, these straps. You want them to be tight. All right, so there you have it. The tree suit from Tree Hopper. If you're in the market looking for a saddle platform, don't rule out the tree suit. I think it's a good, not great, but I think it's a good platform. Um, and it's great for the budget, I'll tell you that and I think it'll work just fine. Again, remember what I said, I'm on a big tree, so there's extra space here because of the way the teeth tighten to the tree. I'm on a smaller tree, you might have a little less room, but I still don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. But um, take a look at the tree suit from Tree Hopper. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. But um, if you would, hit the like button on there and uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. I appreciate all the support and I definitely plan on bringing some more uh, reviews to you from different products that I use, um, like the Cruiser XC, which will be the, probably the next video, um, my bow, broadheads that I use, um, things like that. And um, your support is greatly appreciated. Also, more importantly, uh, shoot on over to goldtine.com, that's G-O-L-T-I-N-E.com to take a look at the uh, plaques that I make for European mounts. Uh, we've got some pretty cool options there. Also got some apparel here, uh, t-shirts, hoodies in multiple colors, uh, hats, beanies, things like that. And uh, again, um, if you do, uh, every purchase that you do is greatly appreciated.